Hello there, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for stopping by for your weekly tarot video forecast for the week of December 14th through the 20th. On Monday, the card that you have coming up is the Nine of Swords. Now, the Nine of Swords tells me that you have a situation that you are really, really thinking about a lot, worried about, sort of obsessing over to the point that maybe it's hard to even focus on everyday things. You may be having a hard time sleeping. The trick about this card is that typically when it comes up, whatever it is that we're worrying about is something that is not in our control. So always the advice with this card is turn that over to whoever your higher power is, if you have a higher power, and let it go just for your own sanity, for your own health, so that you're not stressing yourself out. Our bodies were not designed to take a lot of stress. So it's better if we can let that stress go, let the higher power who has the ability to handle it, handle it and let the chips fall where they may. But at least we are in a place where we are more healthy and more able to function um, in our everyday experience. Now Tuesday, what we have coming up Sagittarius is you have the High Priestess. This is the second time I've seen her this week. So the High Priestess is talking about that Tuesday is a really good time to follow your instinct, those those gut instincts, that intuition, um, those psychic abilities. And the other thing that the High Priestess talks about is expansion of that intuition or those psychic abilities. So there may be something that happens to you Tuesday that you're just like, whoa, that never happened before. <laughs> <laughs> in the spiritual realm, something that a message that comes through for you. And um, I see you just really uh, broadening your horizon in that area on Tuesday. For some of you, it is going to be a very conscious thing. You're going to be working on broadening your horizon. For others of you, though, it's just going to kind of come in sort of as a surprise, which is going to wake you up a little bit in that area. A very nice card, I think. Now, on Wednesday, what we have coming up is the Two of Cups. Two of Cups is just talking about some relationship in your life. Yes, it can be a romantic relationship, but it can also be a family, co-worker, um, or friendship relationship that is going moving in a positive direction. So on Wednesday, you have a relationship that's moving forward in a positive way. Okay, so this can be something like um, maybe there's somebody that you bump into a lot and you realize that you have some things in common and you guys actually make plans to meet and get to know each other better. So that would be a relationship moving in a forward direction. Um, so that might be one way that that would manifest. It's going to be several different ways that it manifests. Maybe you meet uh, somebody that looks really interesting to get to know romantically. Could be something like that too. Can manifest a lot of different ways, but it's a relationship moving in a positive direction. Now, Thursday, what you've got is you've got the Ten of Coins showing up in reverse. Ten of Coins in reverse. I feel like for a lot of you, this actually has to do more with family than with finances. And it has to do with Finding out something that makes you feel a little bit less secure about family. So this could be something like where maybe Thursday you find out that one of your siblings can't be home for Christmas. Maybe they're deployed on a military um, assignment or, you know, maybe they are going to be spending Christmas with their spouse's family or with their fiance's family. And so to me, it just feels very family oriented and it feels like there's something that is kind of detracting from something to do with your families on Thursday, Sagittarius. So some kind of news coming in that things aren't um, exactly what you want them to be family-wise on Thursday. On Friday, what we have showing up is we have the Falling Tower in reverse. The Falling Tower in reverse is actually a much better card than the Falling Tower right side up. When it comes up, in reverse, what it means is that you already have gone through a situation where something that was making you feel secure was yanked out of your life suddenly and unexpectedly. Now you've gone through that. You've gotten back on your feet from that. You've caught your breath from that. And now you're looking around for new opportunities 
about how you can fill the hole that that thing being yanked away has left in your life. And what you're finding when the tower comes in in reverse, that tells me that you're finding that those opportunities out there are better than that thing that got taken away from you. So that's a really good card to have come in on Friday. Now Saturday, oh, by the way, I'm being prompted to say, this card can apply to relationships or to jobs. And I feel like for some of you, it's going to reply, apply in different ways. So you can be finding relationships are, that are better than the one that got suddenly yanked away from you. And you can be finding jobs that are better than the one that suddenly got yanked away from you. All right, once again, it is too a general reading, so not everything is going to apply to everyone. All right, Saturday, we have the Hermit showing up. The Hermit just tells me Saturday you're going to be spending some time alone, really introspective, thinking about things, thinking about your life, thinking about the people in your life and the things in your life. I feel like you're kind of looking at the big picture of what's going on in your life Saturday, you Sagittarius's, and you're kind of um, sort of aligning priorities. It's almost like you have some time to really look at things you normally don't look at and everything kind of fell into priorities just the way they happen to fall. And now you're starting to look at, okay, well, is this really, is this thing that I'm spending the most time on really the most important thing in my life? Or maybe I should adjust that a little bit. And so it does, it really feels like, um, and this is not what would normally come up on a hermit card for me, but, um, yeah, it just feels like priorities are being changed. I don't feel like there's been any particular thing that has led to, that has triggered you starting to realign your priorities. I feel like it's more of an internal time to just take an overview, a checkup of my life and, and figure out what I really want to be doing here. Now, let's move on. Sunday. Queen of Swords showing up. This is somebody that you're interacting with. I feel like this is, uh, for most of you, a woman. This is somebody who has been carrying a heavy load for quite a while. Um, she's very, very intelligent, very quick-witted. Um, she has a very dry sense of humor. When she cracks a joke, she may not smile at all. So you're left kind of wondering, is she joking or is, is that seriously what she wants? <laughs> um And I feel like this load that she's been carrying for a while, whether it's a load of responsibilities or whether it's a load of grief or whatever it is, I feel like she is getting ready to put down that load whenever you guys have an interaction on Sunday. So this can be somebody, um, if this is a woman who is grieving, which many times the Queen of Swords is a widow or somebody who has lost a child, she can be getting to the point where she is ready to let that grief float away from her and start to um, reach out for things that make her happy again. Um, if this is somebody who has a lot of business responsibilities too, I feel like um, for some of you, it's going to be manifesting more like that. I feel like she may be getting ready to say, you know what, um, I've done this for a very long time and I'm very good at it and I know exactly what I'm doing, but I'm ready to to do some other things. I want to, some of them are going to be saying, I want to branch out and I want to expand in different directions. Some people are going to be saying, I want to travel. Some of these women are going to be saying, I'm just tired and bored and restless of this. And so they're going to be talking about putting down either some of those responsibilities or all of those responsibilities, either to pick up other responsibilities that they want to um, have or to travel or to just take a break and see what life is like without having all of these responsibilities. So that's going to be an interesting conversation, especially depending how this person relates to you and how that will impact you. <laughs> if this is your mother and you uh, run a business together and she's deciding that she wants to take off and travel the world, you could be heavily impacted. You could be doing a whole lot of work that you haven't done before. So, um, you know, there's a lot of different ways that this can actually influence your lives depending who you are and who you are in relation to this other person. So, going to be interesting to see how that plays out for you. 
Anyway, Sagittarius, thank you so much for stopping by, for hanging out, liking, subscribing, sharing, and commenting. I do appreciate all of your support. I hope you all have a fantastic week. I will see you back here next time. Peace out.